don't see a sick penguin. I can't believe that guy killed me. I can't believe that dude killed me. This is just another one of my kind of casual speedruns. I uh, kind of learned basic strategies years and years ago. I came back to it just recently, in the last few days, just to participate in the Mega Man X tournament. That was a shitty death, dude. Yeah, it's a damn shame that I had to throw away that sick penguin, but what are you going to do? unfortunate. Five grab. Oh, it was such a good opening, dude. No, X4 is the newest one I've played. I've played... I have played and beaten X1 through X4 at some point. I'll give it one shot. I forgot to respond to Trogdor back there. He said he could offer me the Wii Rockman X version. The Japanese version, which saves like 12 seconds or something because of text. Thank you for not jumping out of the mech, Mega Man. Me, me. Oh, those were almost good snowballs.
All right. <laughs> From the two slide to what was that like a six slide? Yo, we gold it anyways. I could see myself playing like X5 or X6 at some point. Just because it's at least the same formula. Even if supposedly it's done poorly. I don't know if I could see myself playing like X7 or X8. Yeah, I'm going to go in pretty hard on Tropical Freeze, but at this point, I'm just going to get through the week because next week, next week is RPG Limit Break. Then we'll go in pretty hard on uh, Tropical Freeze. I'm glad the run didn't die right there, at least. Get in there, dude.
I released too early. So it didn't kill him. Shotgun eyes is kind of weird. That you basically have to be right in their faces for it to do max damage. Because it, it shoots and then it breaks into a bunch of pieces. So you want to get it like all of them to break inside of their hitbox effectively. Fuck you, dude. Yeah, losing a little bit of time here. Be down to like minus 15, it looks like. Oh, more. It's going to be less than that. Shit. Yeah, bad stage. <clears throat> Missing that ledge jump is a little disheartening but oh well I just like completely forgot how to do this. the most someone's ever donated to me. Uh, I think when I was doing my Spike-a-thon years ago, Dark Link Reborn, thank you for three months in a row, man. Uh, I think the, I think I received like a, uh, 300 something dollar donation. Yeah, I think that's the most I've ever seen. Am I doing a Mega Man X commentary? Oh, I don't run the game seriously enough to warrant doing the commentary. Yeah, I could tell I was I just had a brain fart there. Yeah, Dark Link Reborn, thanks for three months in a row, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, 
Damn it. Like, I actually did commentary for Tiki's Mega Man X run at AOD this year. That was fun. I knew enough about the game to help him out, but... I definitely don't know enough about like the real data of the run. I'm just a generally, not tooting my own horn, but I'm just a generally good commentator when it comes to speedrunning. Socks. Oh, that sucks, dude. There goes half my lead. I'm surprised I didn't lose a lot more time than that. Yeah, it's definitely... I've thought about just writing up a thing about it. Like, how to have good speedrun commentary. Not that I think my way is the way to do it, because I definitely have a very specific way I go about it.
fuck. Thank you, David Rates. David Rates 7? I don't know. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I take pride in my commentary. I think people get thrown off a lot that when they come to my stream, I'm not commentating on everything. I don't know, like, it gets very disingenuous if you're commentating for even your, like, just normal stream. Although it probably is good to always give like some form of light commentary. But I always say for that, if anyone has a question ever of like why I'm doing something, just feel free to ask in the chat. I'm big of a DBZ fan of mine. I'm a pretty big Dragon Ball Z fan. Shit. Shit. Shit muffins, dude. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe I let that happen. Nope. I, I think one mistake a lot of people make when they do marathon commentary is they get overly technical. And you gotta realize you're not talking to people who are like speedrun savvy, not all of them. Not to treat your audience stupid, but you know. Wasn't paying attention, damn it. Well. Gonna lose a lot of time here now. But you gotta realize, like, not everyone knows this on a super technical level. And they don't necessarily want to understand it on a too technical le level either. At a certain point, you just have to treat it as, like, Mega Man goes fast through here. When we do all these things, he goes fast. Yeah, Ray's Fire, I think, is honestly one of the best. I watched him. I was like, damn, he is good at this. <clears throat> Unless I understand a better way to get that le dash lemon off, I need to go ahead and just start doing only 17 boomers or boomerangs 24 26 like this i threw away the last couple levels there that could have been the sub 24 eight mavs which for me would be pretty noteworthy honestly Ninja Shami, thank you for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, that's so bad, dude. Yeah. 
But it also takes a balance. You gotta realize, like, what your game is. I think the number one thing all commentators should think about, because I try to do this, if I'm commentating a run, I want the runner to come off looking really impressive. Because I do think, like, I genuinely think everything we do there is just very impressive. So you gotta think about, like, how do I put my runner in the best situation? Which, you know, is a bit of a double-edged sword at times. I know some people, probably a fair amount of people, are think I make runners sound too good. Like, a lot of people jumped on me when I was uh, constantly good-talking Zetris during his 1.5 proud run. The most, like, difficult in terms of commentary or just difficult in terms of speedrunning? One game is that that is almost impossible to commentate for me. Just the faster paced the game is, definitely the harder it gets. So, like, Rayman Legends at HGDQ, that was genuinely really hard for me. Because by the time you're done explaining something that you really do want to get technical with and explain, you're already, like, 30 seconds ahead. You've done five other things you need to explain. I actually forgot what visit it was. I don't think being a good streamer necessarily uh, by itself hurts or helps it. Like, anything is probably better done if you're super concentrated. So yeah, I don't think it really lends itself to it, but at the same time, I think gamers inherently have to be good at multitasking. Within the game itself, you're multitasking. Know if I can PB now. <clears throat> I mean, I can still PB, but. What's up, Don? Yeah, I can poop my way through many minutes.
Eh, it's a fine line to cross. I guess, like, it doesn't bother me. Like, focusing in on... You get sports commentators to do it all the time for... Here's why these athletes are the best, and blah, blah, blah. And, and I don't even know if I necessarily try to do that. Like, I definitely poke fun at myself. But I, don't, I never feel like I've, tried, I've put down other runners in comparison to a Zetris or you guys last year or anything. It's more so just as we go, when there is something that I know on a personal level is really impressive, I want people to understand what they just did was really hard. Because it's to fight against, because you look at like the comments, if you go back with ReChat, everyone's just like, this. there's no way you guys can be impressed by this, by so many things that went down. Like during Riku Ansem, just like, oh, I too can press X. Like not understanding, like, no, there's a lot more going on here than you think there is. That was barely not a gold, and I whiffed on the cutscene skip completely. Alright. I actually think I could make it. Yeah, that was a very nice pattern he gave me. Mother... Fuck. So I think it was less about making Zetris look good, so much as just like... I want people to understand that, like, what's going on in that run, because everyone thinks Kingdom Hearts is just, like, a baby game, that, like, no, this shit's really hard, actually. Why can't I not lemon, dude? Why can I not lemon? Oh my god. What's up, Sky? <clears throat> so yeah, I don't even necessarily try to set apart like this runner is better than all these runners. Just, yeah. this is hard to do. Hey, what'd you? Thank you for the sub, man. Welcome to the Fajita Fiesta. Enjoy the show, man. Man, eagle poop, dude. Ugh. God. Please get the skip. Just please let me have this skip.
Hey, no problem, man. I'm always happy to have conversations. I think good conversations are the true beauty of life. Oh, glad that lemon missed. Hey, no problem, Sky. Did you ever end up finishing it? I know that one shine was giving you a lot of issues. What was my first one? I went to the first ever SGDQ. I've been to every SGDQ so far, actually. That fire was like literally pissing my eye. Oh my god. Okay, thank you. What's up, Matt's alter ego and the Drizar? What's up, Mordor? Hey, I haven't bopped you yet. Okay. All right, got all the Hadokens. Now we just need to not screw this up. We can't sub 40, sadly. Fuck this hand right now, dude. Forty oh seven. God, the hand. Man. All right, new PB. God, we're close, dude. Almost sub forty. All right, time to go see who all we bopped, dude. 